Crime is basically legal in San Francisco, update on Uber Eats driver killed by carjackers and our top schools reverse discriminating against Asians? Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The first headline I want to cover is the update on the case of the Uber Eats driver that died while being carjacked. Carjacking turns deadly in D.C. when two teen girls try to steal an Uber Eats driver's car. Just released cell phone video shows the shocking moments when Mohammed Anwar tries to stop the girls while holding onto his vehicle as they speed away. Eventually, they crashed and Anwar was thrown from the vehicle. It turns out the girl, 14, is sentenced to seven years for murder of Uber Eats driver, 66, who she carjacked with a stun gun before causing flip over crash which killed him. He was Asian. The second story, Merit Matters, parents accuse top high school of a purge after slashing number of Asian American students by 20% because they are the wrong minority. Whatever happened to the hashtag stop Asian hate? The last story, crime is basically legal in San Francisco. Furious shopper posts video of horde of shoplifters fleeing Neiman Marcus totally unchecked with armfuls of designer bags. At least 10 people stole loads of designer bags from Neiman Marcus in San Francisco and fled undeterred. Police are still investigating the incident and the suspects were already gone by the time they arrived. Shoplifting cases have been on the rise in San Francisco for years. The problem arose after charges of property theft less than $950 in value was downgraded from a felony to a misdemeanor in 2014. In my opinion, it seems like certain minority groups are being targeted in one way or another. You can read the stories and decide how they are being affected. Crime continues to skyrocket in certain cities all across the country. I could say that it is higher in cities run by one political group or another, but instead I'll just say that crime is up mainly in cities where laws are being changed so criminals get off easier than ever. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.